Eve, what are you doing? Teaching him a lesson! to murder then! Stop! You've gone too far this time, Eve! Not far enough. Not until he's learned some respect! Incriminating yourself. Now stand down. No, I don't care anymore. This is an order, Adams. Administration is gonna flip. Yeah. Fries and malt. Oh, that's it. I'm switching to decaf before bed. Thank you. 
Don't forget about the dishes, Yellowstone. I'll hop right on it! Yellowstone! Is my oatmeal ready yet? I hope it has raisins. I like those. Uh, all the raisins you want, cutie. Just need a sec. I'm so sorry. I, I I was gearing up for laundry and I wasn't thinking and 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 Yellowstone. It's okay. I'm only slightly irritated. Nuh uh, no way. I goofed. What if you got cut? Then Yosemite would yell at me, and, and I'd need to scrub the blood off before it stains, and. and. Uh, oh no. Coffee. Oh jeez. Not good. Not good. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Why do I keep screwing things up? This is not Hippie Skippy! English, now. I forgot to make your coffee, Eve! Is that it? Don't get so worked up. I can do it myself. R really? You're not gonna give me a knuckle sandwich? Because I'd give me a knuckle sandwich. Hey, quit it. And don't forget about the laundry. Please don't hurt yourself. It makes me sad. You, uh, you holding up okay? Yep, just dandy. That's just a little sore from when you shoved me out of bed. Stay out of my bed. 
I'm not the cuddling type. Aw, but your bed is so soft and cozy. Just like you, doll face. Can it, before I pour coffee in your head. What's the matter? Big bad ranger gaining a little weight? Does she not have abs of steel? No, but she has fists of them. The scariest thing about that threat is how stale it's gotten. Say, do you care if I rake up all your dirty clothes? It's laundry day! Laundry? <laughs> what a novel concept. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. With pleasure! Just listen to them, Pop. They'd rather sleep in a tin can than a tent. How do you mess up camping that bad? Idiots. The hookup is at the campground. How much longer do you think it'll be until they decide to dump the septic tank? I think a better question is how much longer you're going to use your nihilism as a security blanket. Until they're all dead. I have seven billion pieces of bad news for you, and you're one of them. Keep patronizing. If a tiny forest fire makes you come down with a fever, I can't wait to find out how bad you smell when Mr. and Mrs. Crisis Counseling decide trash cans are too complicated.
Just what do you think you're doing? Pouring coffee into a dirty cup. Looks fine to me. But I just drank out of it. I'm not skipping my morning coffee because of your slobber. the one who uses the same tea bag over and over because you don't want to be wasteful yeah but that's different what if I get your germs huh we can't just go swapping saliva like that you know I I think you have your information mixed up. What are you talking about? Of course I don't. Everyone knows germs are exchanged between both parties whenever body fluids come into contact. I think the only germ any of us need to worry about catching is your ego. So, how long do you plan on letting the breeding pair struggle out there before helping? Until they go away, or my shift starts. Whichever comes first. Isn't teaching these people how to not mess these things up your, I don't know, job? I signed up to protect and preserve. It's not my job to teach these people, especially when they care so little about the parks they couldn't even be bothered to do a little research. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not. But weren't you the one who sent those kids to a fire safety course after that incident a few weeks back? But I'm not the one teaching that course, am I? So you're just going to let them keep making mistakes. Don't make it sound so innocent. It's ignorance, plain and simple. You can't teach people to appreciate the things they have. They either already do or they learn it on their own. If they can't, that person is just defective. How come you're defending them anyway? What happened to your lectures about the dangers of humanity? They were never lectures on the dangers of humanity. They were lectures on complacency. Real ignorance. Particularly in relation to people in power. Like rangers. You say you're sick of cleaning up people's messes. Then teach them how to avoid making them to begin with. Or do you not want to protect and preserve? No one should be allowed to be as smarmy as you, you know that? Yet here I am. Yeah, but can you disappear? 
You're just upset because I'm on to something. What you're on is a tangent. And what is it even that you're educating yourself with? The Human Mind, God and Architect, by Dr. Angela Merrick. Sounds like some New Age trash to me. Give that back! It's valuable research! Dr. Merrick was a road paver who time just hasn't caught up with yet. She argued that the human consciousness, or rather, the collective consciousness of mankind, was powerful enough to create... Create what? Thing. Things, places, maybe even entire worlds. All without ever even knowing it. All that energy needs to go somewhere, right? Uh-huh. And what evidence is all this based off? Her own eyewitness accounts and analysis. Even though she was blind. Oh, honey. What? You got suckered. I did not. So hard. Shut up. Sure. You've already said more than enough. It all sounds like... 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 Uh... Hogwash? See? She's got it. Yellowstone, be quiet. I'm trying to open Eve's puny mind. Well, actually, I was wondering if I could start rinsing off dishes. About time. All right, take them two at a time. I don't want to see any of them break. Like someone's scope of thought. Why are you so interested in what a quack has to say anyway? Because that quack gave me a theory. What kind of theory? Like involving your research? about where you three might have come from? Something to that effect. Let's consider, just for a moment, that if enough people feel strongly about something, then they really do create some kind of... I don't know... physical embodiment of it? Doubtful, but I'll suspend my disbelief. So wouldn't it stand to some kind of reason that since strong feelings, and as a result, cultural perceptions, shift with time, the physical results of it would change too? What are you getting at? What if those physical results are... Us.
So what? You think Zion here is going to go through park puberty in a couple of years? Maybe sprout up by two feet? Puberty would be more forgiving. Done with your coffee? It's cool if you aren't, but if you are, then can I nab it? I mean, as long as I'm not rushing you to choke it down, but if it's cool beans, then... Go ahead. It's cold now, but you can drink whatever's left in the cup. Go get the dustpan, Yellowstone. I'll get it later. Wakey, wakey! Eggs and potential disciplinary action is... What's wrong with Yellowstone? She's not acting like herself. She's fine. Don't be pulled in by the theatrics. She's just being a brat. Don't ask me what's normal around here. This pretty light-up pen on my desk is ready to write you up if you don't answer by the count of five. One Mississippi. This is Ranger Adams, and you can't fire me. I already have a letter of resignation. Over. My shredder is more than ready for it. What do you want, Jesse? I'm trying to enjoy the peace before throwing myself at the mercy of the general public. I just thought you might want to hear from your favorite supervisor. Funny, you had the same thought yesterday, and the day before that. Just making sure you aren't boarded up in that cabin, hiding your pretty face from the rest of the world. to let you know you're on trash duty today. Like hell! I'm on patrol this week, not sweeping up cigarette butts. Don't be such a diva. You're just taking the trash out of bins that are already filled up. Hardly community service. What happened to the usual guy? Simmons or something? Dead mother-in-law, he says. Fifth one this year by my count. Tragic. Every trash can in the meadows, I'm guessing. There has to be an easier way to do this. Don't the Grand Teton guys have a sensor in all their cans? Something that pops up on their tablets when everything's full. I hear it rains mana in Grand Teton, too. But that doesn't stop our year-round fire season down here, and that eats up most of the budget. So 
sorry, sweetie, but you'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Elbow grease and all. It's not elbow grease I'm gonna be covered in once I'm finished. But you will be filled with pride in a job well done. Just remember to lather and rinse with cold water. Do this for me and I'll bring some new snacks the next time we catch up. I have teriyaki jerky! Your favorite! Make it two bags and it's a 10-4. You've got yourself a deal, Ranger. Have fun! Over and out. Yep. Well, girls, duty calls. Clean up duty, from what I heard. If you find a way to spin this to prove another point, I'm quitting. Oh no, I'll leave it as is. Just finding some worldly irony in it is all. I know just the place where you can shove your worldly irony. Good point. Eve, if you see Yellowstone, make sure to remind her to do laundry. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. Couldn't wait until the trash can, huh? Just had to ditch it right now.
Not even a good brand. Guess who? <sighs> Yellowstone. Oh, shucks. Was it that obvious? You're lucky you have a distinctive voice, or else you'd be unconscious right now. You're such a grump, Eve. Don't you ever lighten up a little? Firstly, no. Secondly, I'm pretty sure someone coming up out of nowhere and lashing onto my face is a good reason to be annoyed. But we're friends. Don't push it. Are you going to let go or not? Oh, right. <clears throat> Seriously, though, don't do that again. I meant it when I said that if I hadn't heard it was you, I would have knocked you out. Wouldn't be the first time. And beside that... Beside that, where the hell are we? Welcome back to Yellowstone National Park, the prettiest place on the planet. You're right about it being pretty, at least. Ain't it? The whole park is swell, but this trail is the bee's knees. When I was out earlier, I kept thinking about how I wanted to swing by and visit for a bit. And not too long, of course, because I know Yosemite won't ever pipe down if I don't finish your laundry, but... But I figured a little break can't hurt. Usually I go hiking with Zion, but since we're bunk buddies now, I figured, what the hey, and decided to bring you along instead. Lucky me. So, where have you been all day, then? Oh, you know, a little here, a little there. I needed some fresh air after everything this morning. Yeah, I think I still have shards of coffee mugs stuck in my boots. Sorry about that. I'm just so... so... I'm at my wit's end, Eve! I've always been the one to do the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry-ing and the everything! 
I alphabetize Yosemite's books and make sure they end up back on the shelf. Even before you moved in, I was the one keeping the cabin spick and span, making sure Yosemite had a comfy reading space, taking care of Zion's hair. I also... I get it. I get it. You do everything around the place. I do, absolutely, absolutely, but all I ever hear is laundry this and tea time that. Yellowstone, why haven't you done the ten things I already asked you to do? I've got five more that need to be done right now. So fight back. Tell Yosemite to shove it or something. Tell her you don't want to do all her chores anymore. That'd be more productive than just throwing a tantrum about it. It's not that I don't want to do it. I like being useful and all. It's just that a little bit more gratitude would be nice, you know? I'm working my tush off for her, but it's crystal clear that she doesn't care about that. In fact... I'm starting to think that maybe she even has it out for me. That girl has it out for everybody. But this is different. She was downright mean this morning. It's been like that more and more lately. Well, if you aren't going to stand up for yourself, then you're pretty much just asking for it. Uh, why can't you cut me some slack? I was kind of hoping for some compassion here. Sorry to burst your bubble, but if you're not going to make a change, then all you're doing is blowing off the job people rely on you to do. That's the thing, though. I'm starting... I'm starting to wonder if it's even worth it. Yosemite is a real pretty place, and I love living with the other gals. I'll always have Yellowstone the park, but taking care of the cabin makes Yellowstone the me really happy. A place to belong, you know? But if no one at that place appreciates you, then it makes you wonder if you really do belong there. Look, kid, I get you. I really do. About wondering if it's worth it and all. But I have to know... Why me? You said you usually bring Zion along, right? Why not just ask her instead? you that silly i thought you could use a break too it'll be great we can tell stories swap gossip talk about boys you know girl stuff i'm not into a single one of those things hmm. well feel free to start walking back to yosemite if you want it's a bit under a thousand miles by foot so you better get a move on I'll take my chances. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on a sec! The truth is... I brought you along because I felt like I could trust you. There, I said it. Huh? But why? It's 
silly, but... When you complimented my flapjacks the other day, it made me really happy. Like, golly, someone finally appreciates something I'm doing. And then when you took charge and put out that fire, it just... I don't know, it made me like you even more. It's like you really know what you're doing. I'm probably just being stupid, huh? Tell you what, kid. You promise, and I mean promise, to take me home in time to finish up with the rest of the trash in the park. And I'll hike around with you for a few hours. You mean it? Cross your heart and hope to die? Yes! Now, get out of my face before I plug your volcano with a rock! So fast, Mountaineer. What about that thing on your head? We'll have a lot of explaining to do if someone sees you. No sweat! That's an improvement. Groovy! Now let's beat feet! Just promise you'll take me home early, please. I'm about overdue for an earful from Jesse, and I don't want to risk it now. Such a worry wart, dull face. Just hang back and smell the roses for a bit. This'll be a walk in the park. Hmm. Oh, 
was wondering, what made you want to become a ranger? Easy. I like nature, and I like the parks. Wanted a job that would let me be around both. Had my mind set on it since I was a kid. Then why are you so grouchy about having to do it? You sure don't beat around the bush, do you? Well, yeah! Most folks stop listening if I ramble too long. Cut to the chase is what Yosemite always says. It's not that I'm grouchy about having to do my job. I just don't like having to deal with people or their messes. So, you don't like talking to people then? Bingo. Rangers that do have to talk more? Plenty. What do they do? Nothing but talk. Kind of like you. What do you do? Answer your questions? I mean, what do you really do, silly? You're always buzzing around like a worker bee, but it seems like you're doing something new every day. If you have to know, I'm basically law enforcement. If someone screws up, I'm who they call to take care of it. So you're like a forest cop. Not too far off, actually. Got training just like any other cop. Only difference is I did it on the federal level. So how come you gotta take out the trash? Because at the end of the day, I'm a glorified janitor. Also, it's the park service. No one just does one thing. But the other rangers do different things? Sure. Some of us are tour guides that show visitors around the park. Other folks go do outreach programs at school. That kind of thing. You don't do any of that, though. Says who? I've given more than my fair share of lectures to bored middle schoolers. Thanks. Though at this point, I don't think they want me talking to anybody. Aw, that's not true. You're doing just well talking to me. You must be pretty desperate for conversation if you think so. Believe me, I am.
What'd you find? Garbage. Left behind by walking garbage. I'll throw it away at the next trash can. Gross. You're the bee's knees for cleaning up the place, though. Thanks. It's all over the place if you look for it. at that, Eve. Ain't it grand? It is. You know, we can go anywhere in the park whenever you want. Just say the word. Anywhere? Top of the mountain, bottom of the mountain, the entrance, the exit, even in the middle of nowhere. That's because it's... well, it's me! It's the same for Zion and Yosemite, too. The girls, I mean. But only around the park? That's right! And you can take us back home, right? You aren't just trying to pull a fast one on me, are you? Of course! That's how we got back last time. Last time? Are you telling me that I was dangling off a cliff in Yellowstone National Park? Ah, oh, come on. You didn't die. That doesn't make me feel any better. I'll let you in on a little secret. Oh, goody. You know that painting back in the cabin? The gorgeous one with the view from the top of Mount Washburn? They're all gorgeous, but sure. Well, that's like home base. As long as it's in the cabin, I can go right back there. Although, if you moved the painting, I'd have to go there instead. Sounds like there's a lot of arbitrary rules. Right? It makes my head spin. But it's like Yosemite always says, What are you thinking, won't... Get you anywhere, I know. She's given me the lecture. Sounds like her, all right. She always yaks about the same thing, over and over. She does it because she thinks it'll make her sound smart. Now, let's keep going. Roger that!
Nobody knows or cares who you were, P.T. You sure don't miss a thing. Can't help it. As much as I'd like to sometimes. Why do you think people are like that? You really are full of questions today. Oh, not just today. Pretty much every day. Except usually Yosemite just stops answering. Sounds like her. Anyway, as to why they're like this... I guess it's because they're selfish. They don't think about what they're doing or what it costs nature. They just want something, so they take it. They're like... They're like a wildfire. They just come in and destroy everything. Doesn't matter if they burn the entire place down. All that matters is that they get their kicks. And then they just spread, consuming and destroying fair though you know they're people with thoughts and feelers wildfire can't do that i guess that's beside the point though it was just a comparison besides doesn't it bother you seems like this should get on your nerves just as much as mine after all you live here or are here or something well I don't like it, you're right, but it comes with the territory. I'd rather deal with it than have nobody come see me. Uh, see the park, I mean. Even though they don't respect you? Or the park? Not everything's about respect, Eve. Sometimes you just gotta have fun. I don't think every person who leaves behind some trash is a bad person. They're just people who made a teensy tiny mistake. If you help them out, maybe they won't make that mistake again next time. Little bit of talking and working together and who knows? You might end up being great pals and doing great things together. Just imagine if you hadn't compromised with Yosemite back at the cabin. We'd have never gotten to know each other like this. Yeah, and I'd be safe and sound back at home doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Exactly! And that's no fun! You're still being naive. When it comes to nature, people will just keep making compromise after compromise until there's nothing left. Rainforests, ice caps, endangered species, all these things are being wiped out because of compromises. Either you make people understand the truth or you give up on them because most aren't worth the time or effort. They're never going to learn or care and that's 90% of the people that you see out here. What about the other 10% though? What about them? If 
you can help even that 10%, doesn't that make it worth it? Sometimes they just need someone to teach them the right thing to do. I'll bet you most of those 10% would be happy to have someone show them the ropes so they can do better next time. As long as there's someone to do it. Yeah, maybe. everyone how y'all doing today well hey there we're doing just great yep how about you just came down the mountain had a drink and a snack oh you two are in for a treat once you get up there oh the view is so good isn't it live up here yep same it was gorgeous so you three are pretty geared up those bags look pretty spiffy Staying overnight. We are, yup, just gotta find a spot. We're doing the backwards thing. Back country. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Maybe my friend and I should give that a try sometime. Absolutely not. Oh, guess we should introduce ourselves. <laughs> I'm Russ, yep. Jakey, that's Clara, and that's Croc. I'm Eve, and this... is... Yellow. Yeah, her name is Yellow. So, how are you guys liking the park so far? Great so far. We've been here for two days, and we've got another two days to go. It's good. Never visited before. It's the cat's meow! What other stuff have you seen? Well, we started at Hayden Valley, then came up this way. We passed by Grand Canyon, too. Yep. Croc didn't realize it's not THE Grand Canyon. Easy mistake. She's real nice, too. What kind of gear have you got? Looks like a real heavy load. Aren't your backs just about to give out from lugging all that around? Honestly, yes. I just want to fall over and sleep forever. Have to find a campsite first. We've got all the essentials with us, though. Tent, blankets, food, stove, flashlights. 
<laughs> roughing it as much as we can. You can fit all that in there? Sure can. Bit of a pain to take with us, like you said, but it gets the job done. I hope you guys can take a break soon. Ha! <laughs> Me too! We're actually looking for a spot right now. Trying to find something close by. Going back up the mountain in the morning, yup. I wonder if I know of anywhere good close by. You know this place pretty well then. Like the back of my hand. It'd be good to find somewhere with a bit of cover from the wind. In case the tank crashes again. Wait, crashes? Yeah, during the middle of the night, it just sort of caved in. <laughs> right on our heads, yep. Sounds like he must have staked it out wrong. I told you! Yeah, the uh, videos made it look a lot easier. It's kind of been one thing after the other, to be honest. First, we got lost on our way to the mountain, then we got the car stuck in the mud for a while. Okay, that's enough. The four of you sound like you're not prepared to be out here at all. You're lucky to have made it this long. It can get well below freezing here at night. You don't know how to pitch a tent. You don't know how to pack. Did you do any research at all before you came into the park? This is the wilderness. There's a lot of empty land out there. Just because it's a park doesn't mean that someone's gonna find you right away if you're in trouble. You need to learn some respect for nature because nature doesn't give a damn about you. We understand. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe we should just cut the trip a bit short. Hey now, that's quitter talk. Eve's a bit of a grouch, but she's just trying to say that you should be more careful next time. You don't have to give up and go home. You just gotta do better. <laughs> well, she kind of made it sound like we're going to die a horrible death out here. Not if we can help it. Right, Eve? Uh, what? 
You folks said you're still looking for a spot to hit the hay, right? What if we help out a little and give you a couple pointers? Would you really? I mean, that'd be great, but it's a lot to ask. Absolutely. Hey, Yellow, I don't... Can you help us with our campfire, too? <sighs> Not like I have much of a choice. So then, what you're gonna wanna do is slide these suckers in! Aha! And from there, you gotta... Wait, that's not right. Just a jump, I think. Okay, okay, I think I cracked the code. All you gotta do is step over here and lift this up and... Ah! You alive? Woo! What a tumble! But at least we know what doesn't work now. If you're going to offer your help to someone, you should at least know how to actually do that thing. And I do! Just gotta refresh the old memory and it'll be easy peasy! It's all good. Once we have this tent and fire all set up, this place is gonna look dope AF. Should I have not said that? There's no closing this Pandora's box, Liz. Oh, it's Croc, actually. Sorry about our friend being so lame. We really appreciate your help, though. It's insane how quickly you were able to get this place all set up. We were pretty much just winging it up until now. Yeah, I could tell.
It's fine. Everyone has to start somewhere. But rather you learn the right way than try to fail at it yourselves. At least we know how to dig a cat hole, yep. Okie dokie, enough chit chat. I'm gonna try to set this bad boy up again, and this time it'll be dope, eh? Nope, absolutely not. I've stood here and watched you stumble your way through this long enough. Look, you didn't even put the poles through the grommets. Is that what they are? I just call them whole thingies. Okay, you're officially banned from pitching this tent. Just keep doing what you are now. But I'm not doing anything! Nothing! Nada! And you're doing such a good job at it, sweetie. Let's see, which one of you do I like the most? Clara. Hey, how could you remember her name? Get over here and help. I want to make sure at least one of you knows how this is done. If anyone's gonna remember, it'll be Clara. My brain just kind of wings it most of the time, too. I'll do my best. You see how I'm pushing this pole through the sleeve? Do the same thing on the other side, after it's in the grommet. From there, we'll lift it up together. Got it? Sounds like a plan. This is exciting! It's been such a long time since I've been camping like this. Like, actual camping.
Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. We lived near a national forest, so my dad would take me camping out there during extra-long weekends. Fourth of July, Memorial Day, things like that. A uh, rugged outdoorsman, huh? Oh my god, yes! Lift. He was always doing something out there. I didn't know one man could spend so many hours fishing. <laughs> Reminds me of my old man. He and my brothers were the ones who got me into camping. To this day, roughing it and loving it is the family motto. You have the stakes? That's one heck of a scary motto. Fun though. Makes me wish I had kept up with all this. And yeah, they're right here. Well, when you get home, you can tell him about how you outdid him at his own hobby. Wish I could, but he died a few years back. Oh, uh. Mind if I do this part? I think I remember how to now. The anniversary is coming up, and between that and school being so tough, I guess I just wanted to feel closer to him. All done. Hope it's all up to snuff. Looks pretty spiffy to me. You did a swell job. Don't you think so, Eve? Oh, uh, yeah. Keep it up, and you'll be a real pro. I can put on the fly if one of y'all wants to set up the fire. Yep, I can. Ooh, me, me!
That sure was fun. You don't think so? I don't know what I think. Well, I had a swell time. All those pleases and thank yous, it was nice, you know? I wish it could be like that all the time. We're almost at the tip top! Come on, Slowpoke! Careful! You're gonna yank my arm out of my socket! Oh. Painted a sight for sore eyes. Very sore. Me too, huh? Maybe. Kali, you sure do have a lot of pride, Missy. Don't assume things so much. You'll turn out like Yosemite. Are you sure it's okay to take that off? Yep, folks usually don't come up here once it's dark. Come on, take a load off. It's wild, comfy. It's always 
always so nice kicking back up here. That crisp mountain air really helps you get back to nature. Aren't you technically nature? Goofball, this here is my special place. Special place? Yeah, everyone's gotta have a special place. I bet you have one too. Park is my special place. Phew! Can't argue with that kind of gumption now, can I? Golly, I almost forgot! I gotta do laundry! Well, unless you take us home, there's not a whole lot you can... Never mind. Yosemite is gonna bust a gasket if I don't get this done. Eve, quick! Say something super mean to me! Uh... It's okay. I can take it. No one in the entire world, now or ever, will ever love you. Nothing you do will ever be appreciated or acknowledged. It's pointless. That's really heavy. Pointless, just like your existence, if you think about it. If you keeled over tomorrow, your impact on the world would basically amount to nothing. I guess the worms would appreciate. Knock it off! You're just being nasty now. You... You... Big bully! So does that mean it's working? Uh-huh. Now it's just gotta stay like this for a little while. And you have to do this every time you need to do laundry? all the water works, but it's slow as molasses. That sounds exhausting. It's 
cool beans. I've always been a bit of a crybaby anyway. In fact, the first thing I can remember is waking up and crying right over there. the bushes. Darn Skippy! And in my birthday suit to boot. That's just asking for trouble. I didn't have much of a choice. Once I woke up, I spent a long time on my own. A super long time. Like a month? Longer. I was keeping track of the days, but then there was this huge blizzard and I lost my spot. I was brushing up against 10,000, though. No way! wandered around Yellowstone National Park naked and alone for decades? Not naked. I would have frozen my tiny hiney off years ago. You see, there was this nice gal who was out camping. I stumbled on her. It's been so long, I don't even know what she looks like. But I do remember that she lent me her clothes. And that it was the first time I wasn't alone. Being alone out in the woods for a couple years doesn't sound too bad. Don't have to deal with other people, at least. That's the thing. I didn't even know other people existed. Well, maybe I did. Somewhere in the back of my noggin. But I sure hadn't seen him before. You're a lot like Yosemite. I am certainly not! It's true, though. You both gotta have your alone time. That's dandy and all, but for a gal like me, it was so... 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 Uh, ah, dope AF. I'd never felt something like that before. It made me feel all kinds of warm and fuzzies, so I kept going out and looking for more people. Wouldn't people be... Spooked? I was going to say mortified, but that works. Sure as the sun would rise. But if they stuck around long enough, I'd try to help them out. Bring them kindling wood or grub, things like that. Sometimes they'd even talk to me. The 
But in the end, they'd always pack up and leave, and I'd be alone again. It was like that. It was always like that. Then Zion and Yosemite found me! For the first time since I woke up on this rock, it felt like I had a place to belong. Like a family, you dig? I dig. Suddenly, I wasn't so lonesome anymore. Sion and Yosemite were both so chummy and nice to me, I wanted to do whatever I could to help out around the cabin. Well, good to know Yosemite wasn't always a slave driver. Yosemite didn't used to be a lot of things. Scion too, but in different ways. But now things are just so different. I try my darndest, but Yosemite is such a grump, and Zion can't help out like she used to. It's almost like I'm as lonesome as I was way back when. Is that dumb, Eve? Am I just stinking thinking? I don't think it is. Wipe that look off your face before I take it back. How do I put this? It's like, the dumbest, most intrusive thoughts are probably the most honest. If it's in your head, then there's probably a reason for it, right? Do you get those dumb, implosive thoughts too, Eve? Constantly wouldn't have clocked a guy in the face and ended up stationed at the cabin if I didn't. Hot diggity. Actually, I had one of those implosive thoughts today. Ooh, don't keep hanging! Spit it out! So, those campers from earlier? They would have been up a creek without us. Maybe even literally. Them, yeah. When we were helping them out, one of them said something to me. 
about how her old man used to take her camping before he passed. Wowzers, that's kind of a shocker, seeing as they all look scared of ya. Trust me, I'm not the only one who's shocked. It gave me this... weird feeling. Like those warm fuzzies I was talking about? Nah, the opposite. Like, I wanted to puke. Yikes, you really do hate people, huh? That's what I thought. I deal with so many clowns and chuckleheads every day, I could build a circus. But this group wasn't that. They were just good kids. Looking back, a lot of visitors are. At the very least, they can shut up and follow directions. They're like cattle. Round them up and ship them off so I don't have to deal with them. So when one comes along to remind me that she's a real person, it's... A sucker punch? Something like that. talk. Sounds to me like you had a bonding moment and you're too chicken to admit it. I am not afraid of admitting anything. Oh yeah? Not even that you had fun helping those campers out? Not even an itsy bitsy teeny weeny bit. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It was sorta nice to help out people who were genuinely enthusiastic. And don't forget grateful. Yeah, that's another one to put on the list. Don't you just wish it could always be like this? Sure. Wish Pop would crap gold, too, but I think I'll be waiting a while for both of those miracles. Why can't we just make it happen ourselves? What? Uh, what do you mean? The miracles? That's a nice thought, but it's about time we head home, don't you think? Why? Who says we have to go home? What are you talking about? Of course we have to go back. Do we, though? Do we really? Okay, whatever you're doing definitely isn't funny. Just take us home now. We've been here long enough.
Just think about it, Eve. We can go around helping folks and they'll always appreciate it. And nobody will ever yell at us. I get how you feel, but that wasn't... If you get it, then why not? Were you just fibbing when you said all that stuff about people being good? That's... not important. I have responsibilities. You have responsibilities. No! Yosemite says I have responsibilities. I only ever wanted to help, but not if nobody cares! You brat. This little crisis you're having? I've been dealing with it every day for the last five years, so don't you even try to lord it over me. Your stunt has already cost me the entire day. My supervisor is never gonna let me hear the end of it. She's going to be asking what caused me to abandon my duties. And the truck, which is government property, I might add. And I'm not gonna have anything good to tell her! So, the least you can do, literally the absolute least, is take me back like you promised and suck it up like I do! You don't get it. Say that again. No one gets it! Maybe, just maybe, you would understand. But I was wrong. You're just like Yosemite! Well, I'm sick of it! Shove my foot so far up your ass, it'll come out that volcano!
Whatever. Zion? Don't worry, Miss Eve. We've got you! Is she here too? What do you mean by she? I could have just left you to plummet to your death, you know.
Did the fall make you forget how to talk? I'm okay. Thank you. How did you find me out here? The paintings work both ways. Also, I had Zion patrol the bottom of the cliff because I figured you were already dead. That's comforting. Miss Eve, not to interrupt, but do you know where Yellowstone is? That's right. I was just looking for that brat, actually. The two of you weren't together? She ran off. We were just talking, and then all of a sudden she got really pissy. Reminded me of you, actually. I was going after her, and then all this happened. Uh-oh. That might be a problem. How... How mad was she? Uh, I don't know. Why are you being attacked by your conscience now? I mean it. Was she truly angry? I guess so? What does that have to do with anything? Do you know where you are? Does Yellowstone National Park not mean anything to you? No. That can't be what's happening. Detective Reasoning, put the pieces together! She is Yellowstone National Park. She's at Yellowstone National Park. What do you think is going to happen when she erupts in Yellowstone National Park? That volcano has been dormant for centuries. It can't just go off on a whim. Thanks for the insight, Little Miss Geologist. But that's not going to actually stop it from happening. And when it does... There's no way. She can't cause an eruption or anything, right? Do I look like I'm messing with you right now? Does any of this... Do you know why she was upset? Seriously? Did you not see how she stormed out of the cabin in a huff this morning? She's still angry over that? This girl will be the death of me, I swear. Well, 
I might have gotten a little snippy with her, but only because she started going on about how she wanted us to stay here forever. Not a bad idea, but I have work. <sighs> Thanks for making a bad problem worse. I didn't. I wasn't trying to. It's okay, Masif. I know you didn't mean to do Western civilization. We need to find her fast. You have no idea where she might be. None. She ran off a while ago. I don't know which direction she went. We'll have to hope we get lucky then. Doubt she's gone very far. She's probably hiding somewhere close by. Even she has to be aware of what's going on. I don't think she's stupid enough to let it happen, but still. She's all alone. She must be really scared. Her fault for running off. Seriously, if she wasn't so overdramatic about every little thing, we wouldn't have half as many issues as we do. us did I ask for your opinion I can't imagine I would So shove it, you overgrown tree. I've spent the better part of my day with Yellowstone. It might have been borderline kidnapping, but I think it's given me a good handle on why she's acting up. Oh, the ranger has a theory. This is gonna be rich. It's more than a theory. And with all the moral dribble you try to cram into my head, I would have thought you'd be more aware of it. Aware of what? That Yellowstone is acting out because she's not getting any validation. Oh, Eve. 
poor, precious, obvious Eve. You're projecting. Excuse me? It's not hard to piece together. You need validation for your miserable job. So of course you think Yellowstone needs it too. Maybe you're right. But if that's what helped me relate to her, then so what? I'm not saying the little conehead is completely right, but would it kill you to show a little empathy? Empathy? Really? Is that what you showed those campers this morning? That's what I thought. Listen close, Eve. There's a difference between being ignorant and insistently inconveniencing others. Yellowstone is like a child who won't mind. She's just throwing a tantrum until someone notices her. Don't beat that person. I can only hope she's not dumb enough to. It's like you aren't even hearing what Eve's saying! Maybe Yellowstone is lashing out, but she's only doing that because she's sad! Yellowstone loves helping! It's her favorite thing in the whole wide world, but wouldn't you be sad if no one ever thanked you? All you do is complain about her, even though she does so much for us. Maybe I'm not the best at saying thank you to her either. But at least I don't say lots of mean things about her when she's not even around! You always tell people to be smart and to help others be smart. Then why can't you tell Yellowstone what she's doing wrong and help instead of just calling her dumb? Ooh, you make me so mad! What? Where are you going? To find Yellowstone. Um... Wow. What? What are you looking at? Keep walking!
thing. I know where Yellowstone is now. The rabbit saw her in a clearing not too far away from here. You... You can talk to animals? Don't be silly, Miss Eve. Animals can't talk. Stone is just us. We were super worried about you. Don't come any closer. I screwed up real bad this time. chores without screwing it all up. None of you should have to put up with me. And I know, right in the pit of my gut, that you all would be so much happier if I just wasn't around. I'm sorry you had to find me way back when. I'm sorry for being no good. Don't you dare say that about yourself! Would you look at that? It's a clear night. Reprimands, write-ups, trail duty. You'll be helping Simmons clean up so much trash that the plastic is going to biodegrade before you're done.
With all due respect, ma'am, if I've proven my incompetence at taking out the trash, then maybe that isn't the best course of action? Let's see if you can keep up that charm when dealing with the field trip group tomorrow. Any other holes you want to dig? Uh, not really. You always make my job so much harder, Eve. Is it fun? I remember when I used to have fun. Look, I'm really sorry, Jesse. Something came up and I had to, uh... <laughs> Hitch a ride back and take care of it. I had to send Ernie to go get it. Now I'm down a man, and there's two dozen completely full trash cans in high occupancy areas. As if I didn't already have enough on my hands with all this Yellowstone business. Do you know how many locals called me about the earthquakes? Please tell me it was just one lone idiot. Try 42. Today. It's like, hello! This isn't even the right park! And even if it were, I don't have any information that's not on the news. And I don't think my degree in criminal justice qualifies me to try and gather more. Uh, I'm at the end of my rope and it's starting to look more and more like a noose. Well, it sounds like you have your work cut out for you. Give me a call if you need a hand. I'm not good for much, but maybe I can help you manage the chaos? Aww, Eve. I always knew you were good. You just need a push in the right direction. That's me, Eve the Good Ranger. Well, Eve the Good Ranger, don't think your newfound kindness means you're off the hook. Not by a long shot. Uh, over and out. Trouble in paradise? Nothing worth opening wounds over.
That's not coyote food either, is it? Coyote food? Yup. Weren't you saying the other day that he shouldn't have any people food? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I shouldn't have teased you with this. This looks great, like always. Thanks. What? Don't... don't mention it. I can't believe my ears. She knows how to say the T word after all. Handle those. Just gotta shake a tail feather here. It's okay. You can finish eating. I can take care of these. It's no sweat. No survey. Hey, seriously, just let... Oops! Sorry about that! Here you go! It's even dirtier now, though. I mean it. I don't mind helping out. It's okay, it's okay.
How about I help out instead? Yes, I'm sure. Now hurry up before I change my mind. Okay! Told me you had taken care of it last night. I don't know where the seeking office is, and I don't know if they can help us. Let's go find someone. We can't go all day without water. I know, I know. Just uh, give me a second to think. Are you gonna go give them what for? No, not this time. I'm gonna go help out. Hearts burn red, they dream of fantasies. I have seen them come straight from me, cherubs with broken wings. Run, 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 run from my grave, retracing every pothole I paved. Didn't know the road was so brave. The climb is tough. But the hills are lush, you can't have boots without some scrubs I'm breaking them in, I'm on my way I'm on my way, I don't know where Here I go again, searching for those better days From the hermit in the old ravine To the suits who scream in harmony It's time the world was given back to you Howdy you campers! And welcome back to another edition of mine and Zion's Fireside Chat! Hello! It's very nice to be here. There was a whole lot of ruckus about the Yellowstone Super Volcano in today's episode. We're pretty sure most of you got the gist of it. But we're a tiny bit afraid it might have gone over some of your heads. I know it would have whizzed over mine if it weren't for the fact that it is my head. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Some basic information about the Yellowstone Supervolcano. Yosemite says learning is super important, so I hope you can take this knowledge with you wherever you go in the world. 
Cause you just gotta know a thing or two about gastrology if you like national parks. Uh, I think you meant to say geology, Yellowstone. Geology! Great! Now just say that word over and over until you can't forget it! Geology, geology, geology. So while she's doing that, I should probably start off by explaining that the supervolcano is what we call a caldera. A caldera is a big hollow space that's made after a lot of magma is shot out during an eruption. If enough magma is shot out, the ground above it loses support and the whole thing goes tumbling into the magma chamber. That's geology for ya! Can't understand a lick of it. <sighs> well, I'm glad you remembered how to say it at least. Wowzers, give me some credit here. There's a whole lot of stuff I can remember. Really? I'd like to hear what you know. Okie dokie, artichokey. Hang tight, cause I'm about to drop some super hot volcano facts on ya. First off, the volcano has only ever had a gigantic eruption three times. And they all happened between 2.1 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. Does that mean when you almost flipped your lid, that was the first time it had been active in a super duper long time? Nuh-uh. Just cause it hasn't gone kaboom in a minute doesn't mean it's not active. What? Oh yeah! There's plenty of good old-fashioned volcano junk happening underground. In fact, the cause of... One sec, gotta look at my hand. Geo... Ge... Geother... Thermal! Geothermal! In fact, it's because of all the geothermal vents that we have a whole slew of geysers across the park. Including my gal, Old Faithful. Ain't that just groovy? That is pretty dope AF. Uh. But what if it goes kaboom for real? It's a little scary to think about. No need to freak. As long as I don't flip my lid again, it should be all good in the neighborhood. Oh, that's a relief. Thank goodness. But... Uh-oh. A lot of tiny earthquakes do happen in Yellowstone. Somewhere in the ballpark of 2,500 every year. Oh, that's more than I would have expected. Relax! It's just nature doing its thing. Hmm. It doesn't sound so bad when you say it like that. It's totally gonna blow one day, though. Please don't say something so terrifying so casually. Not today, cutie. Or tomorrow. Or even in the next couple centuries. But it will. One day. And when it does, a big old plume of ash is gonna pelt down on Wyoming and all the other surrounding states. Plant life and livestock will be suffocated by it and kick the bucket. Maybe even regular folks, too. Buildings and equipment are probably gonna get squashed by all the rock. Entire communities might be wiped off the map. Worst case scenario, the delays in agriculture and production could lead to a global economic freefall! Whee! Ah, looks like we're all out of time. Catch you next time, campers! And remember...